first we need to get that owl out of here. Because, <laughs> I mean, you, whoo, whoo. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nocturnal. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire a couple nails at that. Week. I'm not sure what I'm hitting, but <laughs> seems to be making different sounds. <laughs> That's weird. That is weird. You want a jackhammer? Jack I would love, I would, yeah, there's one set up right there. I can't wait to see this. Well, I'm going to plug it in first. Here we go. I, I, go ahead. <laughs> really? Hang on. See all this, look at all this dust and everything. Let's, let's, uh, I got a hose right there. Why don't we just hose it down? Why don't okay. you turn on the water, just hose it down. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got a cappuccino machine here. <laughs> you want us breast up? Because that man, that's some good cappuccino right there. <laughs> Boy, I could chug a cappuccino with the best of them. All right, go ahead. Turn on the hose again in the cappuccino. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I never heard a girl drink like that. It's it's suction. <laughs> it's a suction cooler. There you go. Disgusting. Do the alphabet. <laughs> yep, I'm done. I didn't know when I was. Do you mind if I turn on a little music while we finish up? <clears throat> Let's do it. I have my iPod hooked up to speakers. Anything specific you like? Um, hmm. How about a little 80s rock? Like little Bon Jovi? Let's do it, yeah. Okay. Living on a prayer. Whoa, oh, living on a prayer. And I don't know the words, but I'll sing it anyway. Whoa, living on a prayer. Living on a quick points about that game. You know, most people come to work every day and they say, what can all of you do for me? How are all of you going to make me successful? And the dynamic shift is to come to work every day and say, what can I do to help all of you be successful? That's what we want when we talk about great teamwork. We can talk all day about teamwork. Talk all day long. I like things simple. I like it quick. One question, how can I help the people around me be successful? It's really easy to ask that question. It's really easy to answer that question. You guys know the answer, you guys are smart. It's hard to act on it. That's what separates great companies, to actually act on it. To walk in every day and say, what do I need to do to help the people around me be successful? And then act on it. That's hard to do. You don't have to take my word for it. Anytime there's a political victory, anytime there's a sports victory, anytime they interview a company on CNBC and they say, hey, what made you guys successful? How'd you guys win? What, how did, what was your strategy? And they all say the same thing, right? We all had a common goal. We all worked together to get to that common goal. All we cared about was helping the person next to us be successful, help each other. That's all we cared about. There was no ego. There was no politics. It wasn't who got the credit for the awesome idea. It was all of us together helping each other. They all say the same thing, right? So mm, maybe that's something really important, right? 
and that dynamic shift, and once you send it out there, it's going to come back to you tenfold, a hundredfold. It'll come back to you. And the, there's one other thing happening within that, within the scope of that. We're also dealing with a lot of change, aren't we? I don't know what sound effect they're going to make, and they don't, certainly don't know what I'm going to say and what sound effect they have to make to do that. He was open and flexible to change, right? We talked a little bit about change at the beginning. Change is going to happen. Change is hard. Most change is out of our control. We have no control over the change, the stock market, the economy. We have no control over what's going on around us. But we always have control over how we react to that change, what our attitude is. That's what we have control over, and we don't want to give that up. Once we keep control of that, then we can use our skills and our abilities and our education and our background and our experience to be successful, to, re to manage those, that, those changes, to, to, to be successful within that change. We have to be open and flexible to change. Change is going to happen, right? And we have a choice. We can let change just steamroll us, or we can be open and flexible and know that change is going to happen. You know, and I always ask two questions when, when I deal with change. I say, what, does this change affect my ability to be happy and successful in what I do? No, this change doesn't really affect that. Does this change affect the people around me? Does it affect their ability to be happy and successful? No, it doesn't really affect them either. If I say no to those two questions, I know I'm getting worked up, stressed out about something that just doesn't matter. Our mind is really incredible. It's going to forget most of those things in a couple days, short time frames. It's going to say, it's not worth getting worked up about anymore. We're on to other things. If we're so smart a couple days later, why can't we be smart at the time this is happening? Aren't we going to release a lot of stress? We're going to get rid of a lot of frustration, a lot of impatience. If we're going to forget about something in a day or two, it is not worth getting worked up about. Right? We know what really matters. We're going to keep that right in here. We know what we have to deal with. Openness and flexibility of change. And it works hand in hand with helping each other be successful. Those two things, obviously, we were doing those two things, or that game wasn't going to work. And they did a great job. Let's give them one more round of applause, huh? That was awesome. Take a look at that. Da, do, di, da, der. What's our location? What's our location? Roller coaster. Yeah. Good job, guys. Nicely done. What's our occupation? Belly dancer. Two for two. Now, you enjoy that applause, enjoy that laughter, soak it in, because you might not hear it again. Uh, <laughs> let's see what you got. This is our object. What do you think Mary was showing you? Like a rooster or a chicken? It's a good guess. It was not a rooster or chicken, but a very good guess. Jerry, what do you think it is, buddy? I'm going to go with giraffe. Giraffe is right in a giraffe! It's a giraffe! <laughs> Oh, 
stop. They were really great about communicating the details and carrying it through and not leaving them out. And that's why they were, they were, they were so successful. We've got to make sure we communicate the right details at the right time. 50-50, did you notice how everybody, there was nobody over here just kind of watching from afar? Well, I've seen that happen and they never get anything right. They're in the game the whole time. People are in the spaceship together. They were ballerinas together. They were fighting kangaroos together. <laughs> That makes a big difference, right? Because, you know, they're, they're involved. They're taking responsibility. There's a partnership. When you're physically removed, you're going to be mentally removed from the communication. So when we communicate to each other, we've got we to gotta get involved. It's got to be a 50-50. You know, I could stand up here. I don't have to play these improv games. I could tell you all this stuff. But it'd just be me telling you 100 to 0. I want you to discover for yourselves. I want you to be part of the communication. I use improv games. You guys can use something else, right? to communicate and connect with each other. And once we have that partnership, our attitude changes, the way we communicate changes, our success changes, because we're in it together, right? I gave everybody up here opportunity to take ownership and responsibility. None of these games were just my game. I had other people helping me. My success was dependent on their success. I gave them the opportunity to take ownership and responsibility. And you know what happens when people have ownership and responsibility? They start to care. They care about it. I want to be successful. They care. I want, to, I, want to be, I want to make this right. I want to help each other. And then once you care, then you have passion. You don't just don't walk into a room and go, I've got passion. I'm passionate. It, it takes, it's a chemistry. And if that chemistry doesn't, it's not connecting, we're going to lose our passion. But we've got to make sure we connect with each other and create that opportunity for responsibility and ownership. And when we have that, we care. We don't care about anything unless we have ownership and responsibility. And the same thing, we don't have passion about anything we don't care about. It's one after the other, right? Third and finally, positive support. I'm pretty sure when Chris, Chris woke up this morning, he didn't go, man, if only I could be a violent mixed martial artist kangaroo. <laughs> you guys gave him, he didn't need much positive support, obviously, but... Uh, you know, you guys gave them that positive support for, for all three of them to take risks and put themselves out there, and they were extremely successful. If we just focus on those three things, right? Positive support, 50-50, and uh, details, we're going to be way ahead of most people on how we communicate. Yeah? Give them another big hand. They did a great job. <laughs> One final, to wrap it up, wrap it up. Perfect timing. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. One final thought. Um, you know, all these things are about choices. Uh, Chris mentioned my book, Make the Right Choice. He said it was like some crazy bestseller. It's not really true. Um, it's, it, is, it is always ranked as a work-life balance book, but he made it sound like it's Harry Potter, my book. <laughs> it's all about choices. That's why I called the book Make the Right Choice. We're all trying to make the right choice in how we work with each other and communicate and work together and be successful. We're all trying to make the right choice. And so, you know, we have to help each other. And these choices are pretty easy. They're natural. We want to make these choices. That's the cool thing. These are hard games. And everybody just knocked it out because they're natural, easy choices. And it's our responsibility once we go through these doors and back home to keep, keep making these same choices. And they're easy to be open and flexible to change, create opportunity and positive support, right? To, to stay in the game, to listen and focus, be in the moment with each other. To, uh, to help each other be successful. We talked about that. All the things we just talked about, communication, right? These are pretty easy choices. We showed, we, we discovered for ourselves. Now we just have to take responsibility and make those choices on our own because we can wake up in the morning and we can be passionate and excited and energized or we can choose to be frustrated and angry and impatient. Which one sounds like a better day? This one, right? Sounds like a way better day. But we make the choice all the time to be frustrated, but it's not our choice. We're letting the change choose for us. And we gotta get greedy, like I talked about earlier. We gotta get greedy and say, you know what? I don't control the change, but I control how I react to it. And that's how we're gonna, you know, I know best in class is an awesome theme. That's how we're gonna be best in class and make sure we have the quality and we continue to innovate and we care about each other. I know you talked about all three of those things in the last couple days. You guys have an awesome, wonderful holiday season. I wish you good health and success for 2011. And, um, and take care, and thank you very much. I appreciate it. Ta-da! I love Iowa! Ta-da! Give it up for Iowa! Ta-da!